Okay, yeah, so my name is Mitch Strand. Uh, if you haven't noticed by now, I like soccer. It's pretty much been in every one of my speeches, so I'm going to talk to you more about soccer. Woo. Uh, yeah, so origin uh, can be dated all the way back to China, uh, like 2,200 years ago. They said that they started playing with not so much of a ball, just kind of other round objects, and they started back then. Uh, the first actual, like, official game of soccer was in England on December 19, 1863, between those two clubs right there, uh, Barnes and Richmond. Um, I have no idea who won. The rules were also a lot different back then. You could punch and kick and pretty much do whatever you wanted. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Knives. Um, but uh, popularity of soccer has actually risen uh, tremendously in the last few years. Uh, it's called the world's, it's the world's sport. Everybody pretty much knows soccer all around the world. They don't really call it soccer. They call it football, but like F-U-T-B-O-L. Uh, sorry, football players. It was before you. Um, but it's been in 144 countries. Uh, it's where they play it. It's where they know it. Uh, it's been uh, statistically shown that three soccer has 3.5 billion fans around the world. Uh, if you didn't know, that's almost half the population of the entire world. Um, another key part of it is uh, in the U.S., currently, soccer is the most uh, publicized and watched sport. It actually just passed basketball in this last year. Wait, one more time? <laughs> That's it, awesome. Yeah, here, I'll go back for you. There you go. Popularity, 3.5 billion fans. In the U.S., it's football, soccer, basketball. Nice. And then baseball, I think. Baseball? Yeah, I don't, I don't like baseball. Um, but here's just kind of like a demographic real quick of the world. Uh, as you can see, the green is football, uh, soccer uh, in the world. It's back football. Yeah, the actual football. Uh, now the question. Interactive. Oh, a lot of guys have knows what Gaelic football is. Yeah, Irish. Yeah. They play with poles. Big poles. Okay. It's from Gaul? Gaelic? No, they throw it. Right, but from Gaul. Yeah. Okay, um, <laughs> rules. There are a lot of rules to soccer. There's no way I was going to write them all up here, and I'm not going to tell you all about them. Uh, but just like quick, simple ones, uh, as you can see in the background, uh, that's actually the outline of a soccer field. Uh, usually they're between uh, 50 to 60 yards wide, and then 100 to 120 yards in length. Uh, the goals are at the bottom of the screen, then you have what's called a six yard box. Then you have an 18 yard box, and then you have a uh, halfway line, and then you have four corners on the field which have a flag pole. Just to help you know that that's a corner, because some people apparently can't see a corner of the field. <laughs> um, but, like, two main rules now in soccer are no hands. So, as you see, Pride on there, I don't know who actually watches Futurama, but it's a pretty good show if you don't. Um, no hands. Don't ever use hands. It's called football for a reason. Uh, kick it with your feet. Uh, and then no fighting. Uh, like I said earlier, the first game, they could pretty much do whatever they wanted, but now uh, you fight, you get kicked out for just severity of your fighting, depending on how long. You can either be kicked out for two games, or you could be kicked out for the rest of the season. Or you could be expelled and not be able to play at all. It just depends on what you do. Uh, so don't, don't go down that road. Uh, positions in soccer, pretty basic. Uh, forwards, trying to score some goals. Midfielders, you like to possess the ball a lot and move it around. Uh, try to get these like awesome looking passes. So your forwards can actually score goals. Everybody wants to think they like the best passes. The one that you need, it has to be the prettiest, not just get the goal. Uh, and then there's defense. Uh, that's pretty much what I played. Um, and then you have goalie who just stands in the box and I think is absurdly boring. <laughs> uh, formations though in soccer. Uh, there's uh, a lot of different ones. Uh, you can pretty much line your people up however you want. Uh, the key part though, though, there's 11 people on the field at all times. One is always your goalie, and then you have 10 field players uh, on both sides. So in total, there's 22 people on the field at once. Um, but it's all based on coach's strategy, which you want to hear. Uh, I know Grayson back there played for soccer what, last year or this year. This last year. season, yeah. yeah. Um, he definitely played a different formation than I did whenever I was here. We kind of stuck to the 4-4-2, uh, which I'll get into in a minute. I don't know. What did you guys play? Mm -hmm. I can't remember. I had a 
it just play? Is you play the set and defensive mid and two attacking. Okay. I think it's a four or five one. Four or five one? Yeah. yeah. Uh, they're all numbers to you guys. I'll explain them right now. Um, that's what we're going to get into. Uh, right now, here's what's called a 3-4-3. Three, three. Uh, goalies in formations are never actually registered as like in the formation. You never have like a 1-4. The goalie's just there. Like You just know that you have a goalie, so they don't put them in the formation coding. Uh, but a 3-4-3, three, three, it starts with defense and then moves up the field. So if you look, you have three defenders, which if you look in the top left picture right now, center back, center back, center back, that's what CB stands for. So you have three defenders, and then you have four midfielders, and then three forwards up top. And as you can see just from the three pictures on the screen, they're all classified as a 3-4-3. Three, three. It's just kind of where you want your pupil position. Uh, some people go more defensive, a little flatter. They do like a diamond, which you see in the bottom with their midfield. It just kind of, again, depends on coach and what they're actually looking for. Uh, the next formation is a 4-4-2, which is what this school used to play uh, with their old coach uh, like three years ago whenever I played here. Uh, again, though, uh, you can pretty much set it up however you want. You can call it a 4-4-2, but I can make all my midfield stand in a line if I want. I can make them in a diamond again. Uh, just kind of, again, preference and if you want to possess the ball or if you want to go and try to be more attacking and score or if you know the team's a lot better so you're going to set back a little bit and try to just play a little more defensive. Like if you have the lead and you're just trying to kill some time, a lot of teams do that. Um, a last formation I'm going to get into is the 4-3-2-1. Uh, you see a lot of professional teams play this uh, in like the English Premier League and the Spanish League. Uh, some have kind of gotten away from it, um, but it's pretty much just a giant triangle on the field. Uh, it's for teams that like to kind of hit like their target forward, which is the dude all the way up top, they'll hit him and then they'll kind of make plays off of him. Like he's like the key component to all of their offensive uh, strategy, basically. Um, but all in all, soccer is a lot of rules. If you've never played it, you should probably get out there. Uh, I'm pretty sure the school has an intramural soccer program. Uh, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. I don't know, I don't know if I'm to play it, but. It seems pretty fun. Everybody has a good time at it. So if you haven't tried soccer, you should probably just look into it.